This is a show where stars get to meet their fans and fans get to see their favorite star. Uh, how was your working experience with SRK? I cannot even begin to tell you how special every single minute was. He is the most charming, most intelligent, the wittiest guy. Uh, never have I ever started an argument with my husband just because I was bored. Because I was bored? No, I have not. And you've started because? Because I felt bad about something. <laughs> Okay. Television has lots of talent, yeah. which is untapped, which has not been discovered yet. Yeah. So I hope and pray that uh, everybody uh, gets, you know, their deserving uh, parts and roles. We absolutely loved you as Nagin. Thank you. So, but my question is, what do you think of Tejasvi Prakash as Nag She's Nagin? She's lovely. Oh my God. Have you looked at her eyes? So beautiful. And I think she has also, you know, created her own niche and her own, her own mark in playing Nagin. And uh, the show and her have given each other a lot. Hello and welcome to Bollywood Hangama Hangout. I'm Rohit Khilnani. This is a show where stars get to meet their fans and fans get to see their favorite star. So I know why y'all are here. Not for me, not for any one of us. So let's please welcome Moni Roy. Ooh. Hello, how are you Moni? Hello, so good to see you, please come. You. These people have come all the way to Hello. just meet you Hello. from different different places. Can we have a mic for Moni please? Shall we go guys? Yes. This is the main deal. This is uh, some questions from me, okay. some questions from them. One rapid fire okay. and which we'll make sure is fiery. Okay. <laughs> and one never have I ever. Done. Let's. Oh, wow. Guys, firstly, thank you. I know you all have come from different, different places. Really appreciate. And here is Moni Roy. So, as we promised, we delivered. Happy? Yes. Give, her, give yourself a big hand. Give her a big hand. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Right. Moni, I'll start with work. At this point in time, what phase of life is this? Like, are you happy with the work that's coming? Are there a lot of offers? You're getting to choose? You're secure with work? What is it? Rohit, first of all, thank you for the beautiful introduction and thank you for having me here today. Well, uh, I feel very secure with everything because I feel like I'm a very secure person. So, uh, my uh, direction is very, very straightforward that, you know, whatever my present work is, I like to give it my 100% and I like to give it my all. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So uh, it's not like uh, it's not like there are uh, hundreds of opportunities that I'm choosing from, or hundred of offers that I'm choosing for. But if I get uh, five offers, I feel like they're quality work. So that's what I am looking to do. I am looking to play different parts. I, I want to be known as an actor who's versatile, who I want to challenge myself. So yeah, and I'm one of those very few uh, lucky people in the world who gets to do what, uh, what I absolutely love to. Okay, so that's great that you know you get to uh, you get to do what you love, and this is obviously such a great feel. We are glad that you're here. Everybody says OTT ke wajah se bahut kam a gaya. Is it true that OTT has changed the of business? Of course, for it has. Of course, I feel like it has uh, so much work for uh, so many all of us actors. I feel because there's so many shows that are being made, and you know, so many stories. Uh, and I always uh, uh, you know talk about this that. You know, India is a country of stories from uh, north to south, east to west. We have so many different culture, uh, so much history. So, you know, which was not, uh, I don't know, which wasn't uh, uh, utilized or used as much as I would have personally liked to uh, like to see it. But now, you know, uh, just inside we were discussing about how, you know, it could be the sh same genre. But uh, the, the take could be different on it. There are different stories, different era uh, that the stories are being uh, made and told. Uh, but and as, a res as a result of that, there's so much, there's work for everybody. You need a different kind of faces, you know, that will uh, suit in a particular part. So I guess that has opened up a lot of work for all of us. Right. You know, you transitioned very smoothly from TV to movies and now you're doing OTT. Is this now like a natural transition for all actors you feel? Is it easy? It should be. No, it is not easy for sure. It took me uh, nine years to uh, kind of uh, get cast in my first film. Wow. And uh, it's been worth the wait, I would, I would say so. 
यू नो आई एवरी वेयर आई गो आई से दिस दैट टेलीविजन टीचर्स यू सो मच डिसिप्लिन इट डिस टीचर्स यू गिव्स यू सो मच हार्ड वर्क सम हाउ वेरी अर्ली ऑन इन माई करियर आई रियलाइज देर वॉज नो शॉर्ट कट टू हार्ड वर्क एंड यू नो ओनली माई वर्क विल बिगेट मोर वर्क बट हैविंग सेट दैट इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ इट इज डेस्टिनी ऑल्सो लक ऑल्सो एंड समटाइम्स बींग एट द राइट प्लेस एट द राइट टाइम बट आई नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट you know television has lots of talent uh, right. which is untapped which has not been discovered yet right. so i hope and pray that uh, everybody uh, gets you know their deserving uh, parts and roles absolutely you know what did nagin give you that will stay with you forever everything i yes the recognition uh, uh, respect uh value lots it has given me a lot honestly and i'll always be grateful to ekta ma'am for it you know we did an interview before brahmastra came yeah. and um and you know what did brahmastra give you when to i'll be honest when we saw your role we were surprised you know we of course we always expect good from you but we were so happy it was a great role Thank you. it was one you know it was one of the best characters of the movie what what were you expecting from brahmastra i actually didn't know what to expect before brahmastra release i think i told you had yeah. this conversation with you as well that you know my uh, garb was so outlandish and i uh, mine was the only character which was uh, very unearthly and i did not know whether and sad, and i was talking in shuddha hindi so yeah. i did not know how much the audience would accept it but i was also quite overwhelmed and surprised with all the reactions that i got after the film what it has uh, gotten me is i think the respect uh, of an actor right. and uh, a trust in me which i can see in people now that i will be able to pull off any character or any role given to me that's something brahmastra which was very important for me you know sometimes you know yourself are sure or you're confident that you'll be uh, able to do various roles you'll be able to challenge yourself but the filmmaker or the casting person also needs to uh, need to have that faith in you yeah. that is what brahmastra gave me right you know you always had the fame you how you were famous everybody knew you um you know how important it is to get this one big ticket movie of a big producer with some other big stars how important it is for an actor to have these also in their list it's one of the things that everybody would want to have in their list but i think what you need is uh, an author back role where you uh, where first of all you uh, play it to the t get into the skin of the character totally nail it mm. nail your part and then for people to come watch it to be honest yeah. like it doesn't matter if it's a small film film or a big film if the story has some value yeah. and you have killed it in your part uh, the only thing that remains is for people to come and watch it to even know that you have done that yeah. Yeah. role so that's audiences i think and their uh, their acceptance is the key right you know when you are watching do you go to the theaters do you watch uh, if you had the day off today rest of the day will you go home and put ott and watch or will you book a ticket to the theater and go it depends on uh, you know sometimes what's playing and uh, we all have movies that we wait for that will come uh, last movie i watched was uh, rocky or rani in fact i wasn't feeling very well on the day of the screening so uh, and as promised i reached the theater 3 days later and i watched it and i had so much fun watching it so yeah i love going to the theaters but at the same time there are days where you know you come back really really tired mm -hmm. from work and then you scroll through and you find something uh, or you have a list like you know i i have a habit of putting things in my on my list netflix list or right. Uh, so then i'd like chill and watch a movie or read a book at home right you know you know it's such a weird time for box office kuch chal jata hai kuch nahi chalta hai nobody knows anything yeah. uh, suddenly one film will make 1000 crore the next one immediately will come it will be a flop sometimes and a lot of times you tell me how fair this is the blame goes on the actor iski film chali iski film nahi chali it doesn't matter you know uh, all the all these things about that you're talking about blame games and people it, ultimately uh, it's sad when it doesn't work i feel because for everybody everybody is equally invested in it uh, in fact i feel like actors are the last of the chain when a film is conceptualized you know the production everything everything uh, the set design or even if you're shooting at natural location all the reeky that happens and there's a lot that goes into scripting costume uh, you know the direction team the dop team they have worked so hard we do workshops or readings and then we uh, we are the last ones to you know reach before a day or two of the shoot and then and uh, so it's everybody's energies that are invested in making a film and it takes a lot of everything like it takes it's like a it's like having a baby when it comes out so i honestly 
a uh, pray that every film should do well every ott should uh, ott show should be watched and you know sometimes there i see so many good films but, but they're smaller films they come in the theaters and people don't even give it a chance so you like you said we we living in weird times you don't know what's going to work and what what doesn't well you know talking about ott shows there's sultan of delhi yes do you want to tell this audience that what to expect i mean you know the trailer is out i hope you all have seen it her song is out <laughs> um you tell us what should we expect so it's this is a story helmed by uh, milan sir milan lutria co-directed by suparn verma and uh, so sultan of delhi is set in the 60s and it has a lot of drama lots of uh, Uh, like gang wars fights um i shouldn't give uh, give out a lot but it's based on a book called the sultan of delhi which is written by arnab ray and oh my god what a beautiful world he has created and after that you know milan sir has done such a beautiful job of you know uh, making putting the pages onto the screen so i i when you watch it you will think that you are uh, watching a film on television it's huge and um, the story is very very strong also all the characters are very different from one another yet their lives and there's a beautiful synergy and energy between them and more than that i wouldn't want to say it's releasing on the 13th of october please please watch it right you know milan lutra is one of our best storytellers aap unki filmein dekhiye jo bhi unhone kaam kiya hai what is what is his style of working because he creates another world set kaisa hota hai he was the captain of our ship but he's just uh, you know he's somebody you love and respect so much yet he becomes your friend after a couple of hours there is there is camaraderie there is friendship there is dialogue there is discussions he gives you space to perform he'll uh, you know last minute he'll come and he'll tell you you know i know you what you're doing i'm liking but do you want to try this or he'll just give you one word and he's great with dialogues right so he'll come and he'll give you two words that will change the entire uh, thing of the scene so it was it was magical honestly it was a dream come true working with him wow trala la song we saw yeah. it is you're looking super hot in that thank you uh, what was the brief of that song what are you supposed to do adaiki 60s cabaret uh, uh, flamboyance uh, also even though there's no back story of nayantara as such shown she probably she not probably she is an orphan so probably she has had a very hard life and she now is uh, an independent fierce woman at a time you know we i'm talking about 60s it was so male dominated at that point of time and she is i think it's somehow uh, it was very empowering mm. playing that part mm. also in tralala i have done a little bit of jazz for the first time so it it is a different kind of uh, dancing for me and you know i am so not comfortable dancing in heels which i had to do so yeah i i am i'm glad that people are liking it nice uh, you know i'll just ask some more some questions about generally fun fun questions and then i'll move on to them what is the best part of being an actor living uh, different characters is travel one of those things that you get to travel to so many places is that a big most of i'm a full traveler okay. i cannot uh, people say my life is on wheels all the time yeah. and uh, so i and i think there's nothing better than traveling and working you yeah, know yeah. you get to travel you need to you get to experience different culture you need to get to eat different kind of food meet yeah. new people at the same time you're doing what you absolutely love doing right. so and thanks to your instagram we know where you are aap abhi abhi doha se wapas aaiye you all follow her on instagram all <laughs> followers you. right here so tell me you know with almost 30 million followers you are reaching what does this mean for you is this just business or is this something really you want to share with your fans every post of course it's not just business okay. uh, that's a part of it okay. and uh, i did not even realize that it's become important and it's become business when it did because i started my instagram journey because i always have something to say i i want to uh share my day with my fans or my friends you know that i am interactive mm -hmm. on instagram with my friends and family and uh, so uh, and i used to post just about anything <laughs> there was no like thought no. or it should be like this i didn't have a team i still don't have a social media team okay. there are people to help sometimes yeah. and you know uh, work posts come with like Yeah. their own captions and stuff but other than that i am uh, it's completely me i write my own stuff right. if uh, so uh, yeah so it's been a lovely journey on instagram as well right. no and that's maybe that's what people enjoy you know you're you just natural and you're just posting whatever you feel like 
सोशल मीडिया से भी पता चलता है कौन किसका दोस्त है अब पता चला है आप और दिशा बहुत अच्छे दोस्त है लिसन आई एम नॉट कॉमेंटिंग एनी थिंग लाइक दैट मी दिशा सोनम अपार स्टेबिन वी ऑल गॉट रियली क्लोज ड्यूरिंग दूरिंग सो ओके वन क्वेश्चन तो मैंने ही पूछ लिया आई कम टू इच वन ऑफ यू एंड वील टेक सम क्वेश्चन हु वॉन्ट स्टार्ट आपको स्टार्ट करना है चलिए अपना नाम बताइए बताइए कहाँ से है और आप हाई मोर्निंग हेलो माई नेम इज फैसल मिर्जा and i am from nanded okay mera question aap se ye hai ki uh, how was your working experience with srk oh my god oh my god i am uh, i cannot even begin to tell you how special every single minute uh, was he is the most charming most intelligent the wittiest guy jab aap unke sath baat karte hain wo aapko itni izzat dete hain aur itni agar aap he doesn't do small talks so if you if he has asked you something or if he, you have asked him something he speaks so genuinely like it will blow your mind that how can somebody that big of a superstar can be so humble so it blew my mind my dream come true right thank you hi hi to okay the side i am from mumbai ma'am there are many fans as well there are haters yeah. so how do you tackle the hate i don't you- tackle at all I don't care. <laughs> so, so they are like you're talking about the trolls, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, see, if somebody is hating on me in per- person, they're not going to come and tell me. Yeah. So, whoever so, writes all this. Okay. So, do you take it in a positive way or in, as a negative? That's what I was saying. I don't take it in any way. Initially, when I had joined Instagram, this was what 2014, 15. At that point in time, I used to wonder and feel bad, saying, "Why do people talk badly to other people?" and then i realize these are just ghost writers who are hiding behind their screen if anything at all you feel bad for them because imagine the kind of mind frame you're going through that you actually feel like going on another person's post and write like sprue venom so it's very sad for them also i have realized one thing ab apna kaam karo trollers ko karne do apna kaam तो कभी ऐसा होता है कि आपको गुस्सा आया आपने रिप्लाई कर दिया या पहले किया था मैंने 2 3 साल पहले कहा अभी मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता लिखो हाय मोनी मैम दिस इज सूरज कोठारी फ्रॉम थाने सो मैम सिंस यू आर वन ऑफ द वेरी फ्यू एक्टर्स हु हैव एक्चुअली वर्क्ड अक्रॉस ऑल द थ्री मीडियम्स लाइक द ओटीटी डेली शोज एंड मूवीज माय क्वेश्चन फॉर यू वाज व्हिच आउट ऑफ ऑल दीस थ्री मीडियम्स इज द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू यू डेफिनेटली टीवी बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हाई आई वाज सेइंग टेलिंग हिम दैट यू नो वंस यू हैव हैड एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वर्किंग इन टेलीविजन यू आर you're so prepared for anything uh we do 10 to 15 scenes sometimes in a day which is a lot we memorize so many dialogues we have to reach uh, before time for for shoot and i have uh, worked at a time where i have had to work for 18 19 hours as well so uh it just it you learn so much from that experience that nothing bothers you or nothing like next now when i have issues or problems i look for solutions i don't even uh, dwell on it or i am not like oh my god ye ho gaya ab kya kare i'm like oh acha ye ho gaya ab aage kya karna hai wo batao so it really it's a very difficult medium uh, it has given us all of us television actors a lot i truly truly respect it and i have learned everything i know from television Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm Nastya D'Souza from Dada. Uh, how challenging was it to play Junoon's character? Did you have to like very? I had to unlearn. So I it, I remember we were doing we were doing a reading with Ayan and I uh, was saying the dialogue and it's very heavy on uh, Hindi. So like should the Hindi. So I was doing my pronunciations. I was reading it in a certain way. Ta 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 ta. He's like, no, we're not getting the tone right. We're not getting the tone right. and then he just asked me to internalize it he said he told me that you know your relationship with brahmadev is like your personal relationship with your krishna or shiva only remember that internalize it and don't so there was a lot of uh, dialogue verbos that went on between me and ayan and uh, husain also who's a writer and i think finally we kind of got it <laughs> thank you thank you Hi Moni Hello. I'm Karina um we absolutely loved you as Nagin thank you so but my question is what do you think of Tejasvi Prakash as Nag- Nagin she's lovely oh my god have you looked at her eyes so beautiful and i think she has also you know created her own niche and her own, her own mark in playing Nagin and uh, the show and her have given each other a lot Hello, Hello I'm Shamin I'm from Marol uh, so like i saw you walk in gold right it's an amazing movie thank you so much i loved 
love the entire film but there's one scene that like stood out for me like when you know akshay kumar is like pushing the weed out yeah so like that is my favorite part because like it replays again in the film like the importance is shown so do you have a favorite scene from that film that was my first film every <laughs> scene is very very special but i i remember uh, you know every time that i had to even the first scene when i opened the door when i had to play that irritating bengali wife and like you know chak 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 the other time also where he's pretending that he's talking to somebody's uh, wife and getting the money out for the right after the interval where i am uh, i'm suing something or something like that so that scene was also my favorite thank you guys thank you so much uh, moni should we do a rapid fire let's go for let's it let's go let's keep it fiery let's keep it i'll rapid. try i'm not a very fiery person to be <laughs> honest i'm quite boring okay no these are very simple questions what's the first app you check in the morning whatsapp whatsapp mm-hmm. okay one popular belief about bengalis that's not true that we all love f- eating fish <laughs> i don't eat fish <laughs> <laughs> right here yeah. what's the one belief you think about money people think that's untrue there are lots <laughs> but i don't care okay take it yeah okay one heartwarming fan experience that stays with you and you tell everyone okay i think uh, heartwarming it have been uh, there have been a few but uh, once you know somebody elderly uh, like when she was talking to me about gold and mm. uh, you know she was a uh, she's was a bengali uh, okay. by chance and while talking she she had like tear, tears in her eyes and she was kind of blessing me so sweet yeah i thought like you know she was genuinely invested yeah. and she really really wanted to give uh, her best wishes and blessings to me nice yeah these things always stay with yeah. me, right okay on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the lowest 10 being the maximum how impulsive are you 7 8 7 8 yeah okay. very impulsive this is about decision making on what to do or shopping yeah or? yeah no everything i'm very impulsive but i think i have a good uh, mm. i'm uh, very instinctive also okay. so usually my impulses are very instinctive okay like i have a certain feeling about like you put me on, in a narration in 20 minutes i know whether i want to whether do, it or, do it or not okay yeah. okay one gift that suraj gave you that's close to your heart and always stays with you there are a lot of things he once wrote <laughs> me a song last oh, that's birthday sweet. yeah that got is it very sweet. Uh, what what is it called arrange no arrange, like yeah, yeah record put record the music yeah. and it was such a personal song and it had like my mom and dad in it and my puppies and oh, about nice. me and about our journey so that would be one of the most but he keeps doing these emotional things lovely so that is the sweet thing the one thing that you both always argue about about to me being impulsive and silly at times <laughs> who is your 3 am friend no one me and all my friends are sleeping at 3 am i swear <laughs> by 10 o'clock 10:30 we are out okay by 10:30 you are out yeah not a party person or any such no thing. when i go out then i party okay. but when i'm not out or traveling then okay. like, after work day i just like to go home and like sleep like to go home and sleep right when was the last time you googled yourself you do you do that I don't do that at all. Not oh. earlier on also I used to not google myself too much. There is not one single picture solo picture of mine at home. <laughs> I am that person. Like there are a few of mine and Suraj's mm. wedding photos so that mm-hmm. also people gifted us right after our wedding so which I have put on my bedside stands but otherwise yeah. So you don't care what's written Self, about not, you or what's Um no if somebody will send me an article like okay. that like a link or something I'll open it and I'll read it. Okay. But I'm not going on Google to, to check, check yeah. specially like come make a stress life me. <laughs> बिल्कुल और हम है ना अच्छी अच्छी वेबसाइट हम भी हम भी आर्टिकल्स हाँ, भेजते रहते हैं और ट्विटर पे कभी कभी आता है तो आई गो एंड चेक द लिंक देयर आर लिंक्स राइट जी 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 ओके वन गिल्टी प्लेजर आई डोंट डाइट बट फुचका वड़ा पाव आई लव स्पाइसी फूड वाओ दैट वाज गोना बी माय क्वेश्चन फुचका एंड वड़ा पाव वाओ या um how much do you follow fashion will you just go and buy something because it's trending and it's in and someone wore it no I would buy it if it is looking good on me and me. my body. Okay. Uh, I think uh, style, fashion can change, but style is very personal. Okay. It needs to suit you. I I put a thought right. to. I love it. Like it's it's something that I naturally love to do. I love clothes. I love fabrics. I love the mm. look and feel of things. Mm. So it's something that I feel I'm invested in. Right. Online shopper, or would you when you're abroad, wherever, would you go to a mall and look and buy? When I'm shopping, then I would like to go and see and try okay. and buy it. But okay. otherwise, uh, we've all become online shoppers now. <laughs> right. Honestly, since after the lockdown, so it's, what it's you, easy. What do you buy? Clothes or clothes? clothes. Usually, clothes. Okay. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the maximum, how superstitious are you? Three. 
Okay, not, three, not, not very, very superstitious. Okay, no. okay. How religious are you? Ten. Full. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One beauty hack that you always go to and you swear by. कि ये कर दो बहुत हो गया. Sunscreen. ये बहुत कर दो. Full skin care now. Morning skin care and night skin care. I take it very very, very seriously. seriously. Okay. I should drink more water. Everybody, yeah. all of you should drink lots mm-hmm. of water. It's great for your. You know uh, this uh, step in obviously you know. He told me one thing so. Uh, simple that was so effective for me later like because he sings even if he has like a kharash in his voice or if he has a sore throat or little he's little feverish or if there's his gut issue apparently you can cure it all by just having gallons of water, water yeah. you don't Sip need like you know you yeah. just keep sipping on hot water and it kind of cures itself so i we, i think we that don't is, give that so much importance in our yeah. life that's good advice guys that yeah. is very good advice lastly my fans are my lifeline thank lifeline. you so much that is sweet these are also very simple questions we kept it simple for you moni we like you very much thank you so much <laughs> right never have i ever spent hours on instagram without realizing have. i have yeah okay okay never have i ever given someone a fake mobile number i have changed the last two digits ye sab ka yahi hai because sometimes you meet that person for the first time they should also understand yeah, something yeah. about boundaries right yeah. like talk so, and this and that they'll in the at the end they'll be like give me your number yeah Yeah. Oh my god so you just randomly change the two digits and you like I have done it now I don't now okay. I mean this is way in the past right I never have I ever started an argument with my husband just because I was bored because I was bored no I have not and you've started because because I felt bad about something <laughs> <laughs> okay okay never have i ever sleep walked apne kabhi bhi sleep bachpan mein ya kab no. i don't think so okay no, okay have not um never have i ever stalked someone on instagram of course i have okay you know tell us who no okay just try <laughs> okay never have i ever fallen asleep in a movie i have at screenings or just when not screening my god there you have to be really really awake whether you like the film or not right never have i ever been star struck of Of course, I have. In Brahmastra, I would be starstruck like every day. Shah Rukh sir, Nagarjuna, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Amitabh Bachchan sir. Yeah, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, sir! Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever cried after watching a movie or during a movie. Of course, I have. Are you that all the time? I'm a crier. Emotional person. I'm a crier. I okay. cry a lot. What like an emotional scene will just make yeah, you? yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, never have I ever jumped a signal. Do you drive in Mumbai? Do you? Jump no, I don't know how to drive. Okay, so that's sorry. Invalid. I have not. Okay. Yeah. Never have you accidentally sent a DM to a person and then unsent it quickly. I've done this this on WhatsApp. Does okay. that count? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. counts. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and because it was the wrong person, or were you bitching, or were you? <laughs> no, no. Because uh, yeah, yeah, it was the same person that I was very, very upset with. Oh, yeah. I was telling a friend of mine, but uh. I ended up sending it to. the other girlfriend okay <laughs> the same friend in question wow but she didn't read it so i was saying shows that someone deleted ha, something ha but so what so that that is okay <laughs> okay never have i ever cut my own bangs i have they were terrible <laughs> as a child like in school we've okay. all done it i think okay never have i ever injured myself on a set have you ever like yeah yeah i fall all the time also i fall all the yeah, time yeah yeah i okay. like sometimes i fall on my own two feet i don't see thing i i constantly bang into things Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Accidental. Never have I ever spent a bomb on something and regretted. I have. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Can you tell us like like a bag maybe like or a, a pair of shoes. Yeah. Okay. Never have you ever stolen something from a hotel room. Hotel room. How is it stealing when you're paying for it? If you take like one uh, uh, you know sometimes they uh, they keep really really nice those uh, shampoos and shampoos and, and like yeah. no i had ta- i've taken i usually take those small little who is yeah lotions uh, yeah and perfume yeah. they sometimes keep those small little things mm. yeah but if i paid for the hotel room why can't i take it it's not stealing so sab tv hair dryer sabhi nahi nahi wo sab nahi liya kabhi okay uh never have you ever stepped out in disguise have you i haven't i haven't M- yeah. uh, mostly like lockdown really helped us navigate the re- now the rest of the time also we are always in masks and glasses yeah so. right never have i ever ha- made a fake instagram handle never never i have not so you stalked from yours only if you want to yeah <laughs> 
Okay. Never have I ever pranked someone on a set. Are you that person who? No, I get play? pranked. Oh, you get pranked. I get pranked, and then I cry also, and then I get so, really mad, okay. and then I laugh. So it's a crazy <laughs> lunatic behavior. So who is the person who pranked you? The most Akshay hmm? sir. Akshay Kumar. He is known on uh, yeah. goal set. Right. Never have you ever pulled a door which said push. All the time. <laughs> also, knew it. please include the banging on the glass yeah, doors. Yeah, yeah. You know, and nowadays, sometimes we're on the phone also, you don't see and you just like bang because it's like really, yeah. really transparent. Anyway. Lastly, never have I ever lied in an interview. I don't think I have. Wow. I think I'm a pretty honest person. First I won't, guest. If I, if I do not want to talk about it, I'll tell you, can we skip this? And so I don't lie. That is, you're, you're actually the first guest saying that every guest who's come has told me they've lied in interviews. And I'm like, really? Really? I, yeah. I, so you didn't, didn't feel the need to maybe didn't feel the need to great fantastic that was great fun uh, Moni we, what we want to know is that what are you shooting what next what should we expect so I am doing a uh, movie which is a horror comedy mm -hmm. I have 20-25 days shoot left for that it's mm -hmm. called Virgin Tree mm -hmm. I'm doing another show uh, that I can't talk about I um, they'll announce it soon it's okay. with Dharma mm -hmm. um, now then I'm doing uh, something actually very interesting which is starting on the 14th of this month okay. uh, that also will be announced soon. so there's quite uh, quite a lot on the platter but now the most important is uh, Sultan of Delhi so guys please please watch it on the 13th right guys uh, you know so Sultan of Delhi OTT pe aega, right G uh, on ha Disney plus Hotstar. Disney plus Hotstar pe aega. you know what is that release like because you know jab theater mein release hota hai, you can go to the theater you get to see you know people put out videos first day first show is this less stressful because this box office ki talwar is not there? I wasn't even stressed during the release of Brahmastra, to be very honest. I just feel How like... How do you manage that? Because uh, I feel like whatever we could do possibly, you know, whether uh, firstly to actually go and play the part and then during all the promotions, mm -hmm. whatever was required of us, whatever we could do, we have done. Mm -hmm. Now it's pointless. Do you feel the nerves? Yes, obviously. You yeah. feel like what will people think of the movie and whether mm. they will like it or not. Mm. But bo box office stress is something that is pointless for you to take. So I don't even feel that in, in the mm. films that I have done. Uh, but uh, uh, talking about Sultan of Delhi, I think uh, I, I really have a lot of faith on this show. And yeah. honestly, you will also see, you know, Tahir's and Anjum's characters, mm. both the, uh, there is such great camaraderie and it's such a beautiful role. Both of them, it's so, so, strong so I, I feel like they're going to love audiences are going to love their journey right you know because you don't take stress what suppose it's dropping on a day one day before that you aram se get sleep what do you do like you yeah, just yeah I get sleep <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to say it but uh, like I'm excited and I'm oh. nervous also if it doesn't do well at the box office then after that I feel sad a little okay, bit yes, uh, yeah. because you know you're invested in it mm. uh, emotionally mm. but before that I, I feel like like a day before the release everybody else is so stressed especially the director and the producer mm. of the film that you, you I get to be that one calming agent factor right you know so um, when on the day it releases what where where's the first signal the hints that it's doing well, it's received well. I think by the end of the day, uh, somebody from the production or the direction team would send you the send you. Uh, how how fairly it's doing. So okay. I get to get that information from them only. Right, because nowadays it's tough. Now everything gets four stars, everything gets five stars. So it's it's kind of tough for us to understand what is doing well. So, but will you? Are you someone who will go on Twitter and see lo kya bol rahe? For my own stuff, yeah. maybe yeah. yeah. My own stuff, yes. But for other people, no, not really. <laughs> If I uh, also I believe in uh, more than ratings, I truly believe in word of mouth. Yeah. So when uh, and I have uh, all my friends are uh, non-industry friends. Mm. So they go and they are avid watchers. You know, they're theater goers. So if I get a my report is always from a friend of mine who has gone and seen that film. And right. So they'll call me or I'll, if I ask them that, uh, usually they call me just because I happen to be an actor. They'll tell me that yeah, oh, we watched this film, either it was very good or it was very bad or, you know, okay, time pass, go watch it, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Will your family always be excited during your release? Will they watch it immediately and give you feedback? Of Who course, gives you feedback? Uh, my brother, okay. mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, my mum uh, and my brother, both of them are also like me. In fact, mm -hmm. I am like them, which is why I am <laughs> like this. They're also very calm. They'll just go for the joy of it. You okay. know what oh. I mean? Mm. Like she's just excited that 
I have done another film or another role or another right. OTT show. Mm. So she's waiting to watch that. And now, uh, of course, my in-laws are also included, my yes. mom and dad-in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are also my, one of my biggest cheerleaders. So yes, I'm yeah. really fortunate to have all of them. Right. You know, so, uh, you know, you're talking so passionately about Sultan of Delhi. What would be important for you? It goes and becomes a number one show or it gets great critic ratings Both. or it get or it gets audience love, everything. All three. <laughs> Very I'm very greedy. greedy. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> well, you know, what would be important? Like, was that, was that one thing that you would be like, wow, yeah, either what we went out to achieve, we achieved. But that, that would be audience's love, no? Only mm, if, yeah. I think everything, all the three things that you spoke about are correlated. If it's watched, it'll become the most watched show, which is why it'll become the number one show and the most streamed show. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, get more subscribers. So, I think the, all these things, factors are correlated right that is so. so true you know lastly before we end money this is also an opportunity on this show these are the real people who will watch it yeah. what do you want to ask them if you were to ask them about you know your upcoming show that when should they watch how should they watch or anything that you want to ask them about your work in general what would you like to know from them i wouldn't want to ask them i just want to thank all of you first yeah. of all for coming here and uh, always giving me unconditional love and even, even when you you know we we're talking about the haters <laughs> but the kind of love and admiration all of us get as okay. actors okay. it's uh, it's priceless and it's uh, so selfless the mm. the time that they devote in making videos or you know uh, always keeping a track of what work you're going to do when it's going to come uh, of your birthdays your anniversaries uh, your brother's birthdays your everything about your family it's unreal wow. so i first of all really want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart and uh, just uh, maybe i'd just ask and request for all the support and love Yes, we yes. can get for absolutely. Sultan of Delhi. Thank you so much. This meant a lot, Moni. Thank you very, very much for coming. You thank know, you. it's always um, sometimes intimidating to sit directly in front of people. You know, you all do it all the time. So thank you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. So I just shot for Bollywood Hangamas Hangout with Rohit and had so much fun interacting with uh, the fans live, uh, received so much love. I hope uh, they also like our conversation. To watch it, you have to go to Bollywood Hangama's YouTube channel and stay tuned.